much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me. Today we are featuring these new items I was recently gifted by Shantikai. Thank you so much Shantikai for sending these over. They are from the Giraffe Collection. I'm gonna actually take you through about three different looks with this one palette, just so you can see its versatility. And then I'm also trying out this new CQ blush. It's my third one that I picked up in this formula, it is beautiful. And we're also trying out the Sonia G brush that recently was restocked on Beautylish. Thank you so much for letting me know I should pick it up. So I quickly picked this up thanks to your recommendation. But let's go ahead and get started. In with the anti-pollution mattifying cream. This is by Chantecai. I just like to apply this to the T-zone area first. I've been experimenting with concealer first. I'm not sure where this is gonna go in sequence, but I applied it first in a recent video that I think went up or will go up, and I really liked the outcome. So I'm gonna try that again and see how well it works with other foundations and tinted moisturizers. Clay de Peau concealer brush. Then going in with Clay de Peau concealer directly on the skin in Mocha. Okay, we'll go in now with the Chantecai Tinted Moisturizer. I have mine in Glow and in Tan, and I'm going to mix two of them together. So you can see Glow here and Tan here. I'm gonna start on the outside first. Then finally, let's go on top of that concealer really gently. That one moved around a little bit, so I'm gonna fix that and then I'll go in with the tinted moisturizer again. Just gonna put a little bit of the Rowan product right now because my lips are so chapped. And then we'll remove that, but this is a lip oil. So let that work. Let's go ahead with this HD powder in Candlelit. Now I don't usually set with anything with any kind of reflective particles in it, but it's said to go in on top of the foundation, the future skin, or on top of the tinted moisturizer, which I have. So let's just apply it to the exterior because I'm not sure about this one yet. So I just kind of want to experiment. The brush is nice and soft. I do like this uh, dispenser because sometimes when I get these, they don't actually dispense much of anything, but I can see that just the right amount is coming out of here. I think I may just avoid this area right now though, because I can stipple maybe. Let's see, let's stipple. Okay, let's just do that for now. You know, it delivers a really natural look though, but it is definitely not matte in the front like I normally have it. It does have that glow to it. So I love this though for the exterior. So maybe, I think I still am gonna go in with the Perfect Blur Powder, which I love, um, in the center only and let the rest of the skin glow. So I'll show you half. So that's the difference. So you can have it like this or you can just do what I did and add just a little bit of blurring very strategically. So really it's a very small area, but I think it makes an overall difference. We're gonna go with the Chantecai Next Generation Eye Base. Okay, and then I'm going to do my eyebrows as usual. I'll be right back. I almost forgot La Prairie uh, under the eye. <gasps> it's empty. Oh, almost empty. I'm gonna try the lightest shade, that white shade first, just on the eyelid and see how that goes. I got the Chantecai Shade and Sweet Brush. There's a little bit of intermittent shimmer there, not too much though. Going ahead with the matte shade right here in the crease. Outer corner as well, same shade. Same matte shade. Really pretty matte shade. So 
So actually, if you just wanted to use a couple of shades, you could do that. I'm gonna add some mascara now, and then we'll do the blush and the lip, and then we'll intensify the eyes, I think, a couple times more. So let me just add some Chantecaille Faux Seal Long as Slash Mascara. So you can do something really simple like that. I haven't even added eyeliner yet, but I realized I didn't add bronzer yet. I really wanna try out the Sonia G brush, the one where I had read that it doesn't disturb makeup underneath when you bronze. So I'm going to use Serena, the Chantecaille bronzer, and let's see how this goes. Oh, this is so well loved that the mirror is very dirty at this point. So let's use this. And I really like the shape here because one of the hardest parts is to get into the hairline for me with bronzer. Sometimes it takes a lot of extra effort, but because of the shape of the brush, it really gets in there nicely. And then underneath the cheekbone, along the jawline as well. Oh, well, it's pretty. It really helped build some dimension really quickly. Yeah, what a great brush. I think it's one of the brushes that helps make sure this doesn't go too low. This is in the shade 04. This one's by Su Q. I was looking for, like I said, a muted tone here. So let's see how muted this is. Yeah, that's another beautiful blush from Su Q. Just have the leftover powder here from the Perfect Blur. Let's try Jasmine, this is the warmer of the two. There is a third one, but I know it's on pre-order. I think it's Willow's one that's on pre-order. Lovely soft shade. So here is one look you can do. Again, I just use two of the shades in the giraffe palette, this white shade and then this matte shade. It's a really beautiful everyday look. Okay, I'm gonna intensify now. So I'm taking this other shade, this one, this one with a little bit of satin in it. I'm going to add that to the exterior, just right here. I've got some mascara on my eyelid. Adding that right here. It's a little bit just intensified on the top. Okay, so I just added a little bit of this to the exterior to get that look. I'm gonna keep intensifying though and I'm going to add this shade, that same one I just added as an eyeliner. Rowan brush. I'm going to also go underneath with this. Just again, adding a little bit of that more satin shade, but now I'm going to tight line and add some color to the waterline. But for those who don't like eyeliner, you can stop right there. So I'm going to go in and tight line with the black eyeliner. And then I'm gonna take amethyst. I think that complements this really well and I'm going to go in the waterline with amethyst. Now what we'll do is we'll take this satin shade all over the lid. We're gonna smoke this out and add this shimmery shade on top. So I'm really curious to see what it will do. This is that same shade and sweet brush I'm using. I'm gonna go under as well, but I'm gonna take the same brush and just turn it like this. That is beautiful. Let's add this shade to the lid now. I'm just gonna use my clean hands here. And I just wanna add a little bit more of that deeper color just to the bottom here. Okay, I'm gonna change the lip though. Let's see what the other one looks like. 
And we're gonna go in now, this is Sephrygia. I typically stop a little bit lower than I need to, so I'm gonna just add that same satiny shade a little bit higher. I'm just looking for a fragrance in the fragrance sampler. Let's try this one again, Patel. It's the one with freesia, fresh gardenia, and wet petals as the top notes. And then it has mid notes, orange flowers, jasmine, tuberose, violet leaves. And then we've got the dry down with, I like the woodsy notes in there with the cedar and the sandalwood. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that one again. You definitely smell that gardenia coming through, but then it settles in and you smell more of those base notes or the dry down notes. I like this one after it settles in for a moment. Let's talk about these products. I think this is a gorgeous palette. It is limited edition, and I mentioned this with the Chanel palette. Limited edition neutral palettes tend to sell out. So if you were thinking about it, I would definitely pick this up if that's what you had your eye on. It's beautiful, really easy product to use. And as you could see, you could get a few different looks out of this and probably even more. So I wanted to show you a few different ways you could use one palette. So for those who want a little bit more drama, you can definitely get that with this palette. I think because of this shade right here, as well as this one, it builds really nicely all over the eye. But I think this is a great staple shade as well, this matte shade. Uh, but again, this one worked really well in the crease. And then this one is pretty. I didn't use it as much, but if you wanna go all over the lid, it's a beautiful, cool tone. Some intermittent shimmer, but subtle on that one. I think they did a really lovely job with this palette. As for the lip shades, this first one I tried, uh, Jasmine, was light on my lips, but also was warm, so it actually worked, but it was sheer, so if I want to go in with a lip liner, I think natural would work really beautifully with that, and then add this on top, and then I thought this one was really pretty. Freesia, which I have on now, which I thought was actually going to be much cooler, but it works quite well with my natural skin tone. And just like their other lip cheeks, I will be pulling for those frequently. I just love the formula and they're so easy to wear. I think that's kind of the theme of this giraffe collection. Really easy to wear products. This one, Candlelight, I wasn't sure what to expect from this, but it's really pretty. I think if you have dry skin, you might really like this product. It didn't emphasize any texture on the outside, but on the inside, I just prefer a more mattified look. But if you look at Glow, it's a very sophisticated glow. So I would try this if you like that finish. Actually, if my mom was here, I would love to try this on her because she doesn't like to powder because she doesn't like a mattified look. So she might actually be someone who would love, love, love this. But I thought it was really pretty on the exterior. Just kept that glow of the tinted moisturizer, which I think is beautiful. So I think this worked really well with the tinted moisturizer. This, I've got a read it HD Perfecting Loose Powder in Candlelight. Now for the Q blush, I love that it is more muted, really beautiful on the skin because the other two I have are more vibrant, which I was not expecting. I actually thought they would look like this, and I thought this color was going to be almost undetectable on the skin, but I love this tone. It's so pretty. I think really versatile as well because it just looks so natural on the skin and isn't overwhelming at all and doesn't take over, but you can just see a little bit of color. I'd love to try one with this kind of subtleness, but more pink now. So that'll be my next product that I'll pick up. I'll be looking for a pink version of this. So I've got to figure out exactly what shade that is online. But if you know what shade that is, where I can get a more muted look, but on the cooler side, pinkier side, I'd love to know. Please leave it in the comment section below. And if you have any experience with any of these products, please let us know in the comment section below. It is so helpful for those who have used these products to leave their comments so other people can read them as well. And thank you Shantakai for sending over the beautiful products. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other. Stay well if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. <music>